King Edred was born in around 923. At the time, his 49-year-old father, King Edward, later known as Edward the Elder, was nearing the end of his reign. He was king of the Anglo-Saxons and had been on the throne for around 23 years. Edred had two older brothers, both of whom would succeed his father as king. His much older half-brother Ethelston, who was in his late twenties at the time of Edred's birth, and a full brother Edmund, who was just two years older than Edred. Edred's father, King Edward, died in 924, when he was around 50, and Edred was no more than a toddler. Ethelston was appointed King of the Anglo-Saxons when he was about 30. Three years into his reign, Ethelston's forces expelled the last of the Danes from England, and so he became the first ever King of the English. Ethelston ruled until 939, dying in his mid-forties, when Edward was about 16. As Ethelston had not produced any children, the crown passed to Edward's older brother, 18-year-old Edmund. King Edmund ruled for a little under seven years, dying in 946 when he was about 24 years of age. At that point, Edred became king. Edred ruled for around nine and a half years, dying in 955 when he was 32. Let's take a look at where he fits on our timeline. Here he is. Simply to put him into context, Edward was crowned just over 600 years before King Henry VIII's daughter Bloody Mary was on the throne. Edred would have been around 22 or 23 years old when he was crowned king in May 946. Much like the reign of his older brother, Edward's time as king was defined by trying to fend off rivals to his kingdom. When he ascended to the throne in 946, the Northumbrians acknowledged his rule, but then quickly switched allegiance and declared Eric Bloodaxe, whose father ruled Norway, as their king. It's likely that this got Edred's blood up, because in 948, two years after being crowned, he ravaged Northumbria, after which the Northumbrians submitted to him. This submission didn't last long, however. The fickle Northumbrians soon declared the Dane, Olaf Citrixen, as their king. Then, soon after that, they expelled Olaf and brought back Eric Bloodaxe as their ruler. But in 954, Eric Bloodaxe was killed and the Northumbrians once again switched allegiances, this time back to Edred. Poor Edred is believed to have suffered from a digestive issue which may have led to his untimely death, unmarried and childless, at around the age of 32 in 955. He died in Frome in Somerset and his body was transported to Winchester where it was buried in the Old Minster. He was succeeded by King Edwig, who was the son of Edred's older brother and predecessor, King Edmund. Look out for our next video, in which we'll cover the reign of King Edwig. Please remember to hit the subscribe button to receive an alert when we upload our next video. You can also support us via Patreon using the link below.